inside and fell for your way, baby. I know, girl, but in the love for the first time, the first time I've seen you love, you got me, baby. Good morning, welcome to your new vlog. My name is Tambe Kefasi, and I am this cute boy as well. Lilima. Baby. Mm, baby. Ah, Lily. Little it's so cold, my boy. It's so quick update, guys. A little drinks need or now. Mba nana. And get up by white. Hmm. Oh, 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 Mama, mama, mama. Ta ta. Bye. Baby. It's on my seat, pumpkin. Good boy. Good morning. Good morning. Good <laughs> morning. Morning, guys. Hope you are well. It is a Wednesday morning, and I just want to. Oh, this TV is noisy. I just want to give you guys an update of what's happening. So, Ella has started crutch. Um, today's day two, and I'm so impressed, guys. My boy was so happy yesterday. So I tried out um a local crutch which things didn't go really well. Um he was teething at the time and I did mention that he when he, he's teething he doesn't eat. But I would get complaints of how he doesn't eat and stuff like that. So he went to that crutch for two days and then he stopped. He went to this one yesterday, my boy came back so happy. Usually he cries literally until he sleeps. When he wakes up, also during the night, he cries, but he didn't cry yesterday, which means something is right. It's a very pricey crutch, but it's worth it. Like, the fees are literally almost 24000 in a year, which is pretty steep, but um, 
like it's it's pretty steep but um i think the curriculum and everything like makes sense for me and i don't want to get into racial stuff but it doesn't matter yeah so he's at crutch now i've got an 8 30 meeting it's 8 10 i'm just gonna make food whilst i'm in that meeting i'm gonna eat and then i'll take a nap so i slept this morning at five i think i woke up at 11 and then slept at five so 11 to 5 i was working so now i want to like eat quickly take like a two hour nap and then continue working because i have a report that's due today
shoes. Very bad guys. Okay. They were for fresh candy. Hello cuties. How was Critch? Why did you do that too? How was school? Critch, how was Critch? Was it nice? <laughs> yeah, Zetu. You're gonna get hurt. Ella to plays like a true boy. What did you do today at Kitch? Mm. You didn't sing arms to the right? No. No. <laughs> 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 Dragon will eat you. No have fun. Yeah, the Dracula will eh, will sort you out. I got Ella two some additions to the winter clothing haul. I got these looking super cute. These are like two hundred. Yeah. And then this jacket because it's cold in the morning when he goes to Critch. It's three fifty. And then we also got this one over here, which is three eighty. So these are from Woolies. All three of these are from Woolies. Yeah. So I think now in terms of winter clothes, a little sorted. Continuing the vlog a few days later guys um simply because I would love to like upload a vlog for y'all. Um I know I haven't been posting. Um I didn't have any content to be honest and it's been a busy time in my life so consider this an a life update. So I'm currently recovering from food poisoning um everything just happened so fast guys um the same week my son starts a crutch this just happened so let's speak about the crutch thing first so yeah edit to use um settled now into his crutch there's just a lot that needed to be done the fees um there's a stationary fee also the application fee like it's just a lot um a lot of money that i needed to pay so got that out of the way the boys were settled 
um, I did a good tour. Um, I had a meeting with the principal just to understand um, the curriculum they have for for LA2 or for LA2's age mates. And yeah, I'm impressed and I'm at ease when it comes to Critch. And then, yeah, so literally on a Saturday, we were not feeling well with LA2. It seemed like we were about to catch flu or something so i remember in the morning i didn't even shower like i literally bathed literally in the basin i just poured water just gave pumula you know the sensitive areas and stuff because i didn't want to activate the flu i don't want to get in the bathtub i don't want to shower and then um i remember napping the oh, it's okay and i come with actually Mushabisa, and then after that, we slept for about three hours. When I woke up, I thought he would be hungry. Actually, he slept longer than three hours, maybe like four or something. Um, I was hungry, and they were cooking at that time, so I I took a pie because I I could just easily warm it up and eat. I ate a pie and then I was okay. Sunday I started like feeling weird and stuff and then I thought maybe it's the flu. Um yeah, I thought it's the flu because the symptoms seemed flu. -y. I just drank cough syrup and I slept. Or oh, that evening instead of oh that evening I decided not to eat pie. I just um I ate scones because I was really craving for them. Then, yeah, I remember sleeping somewhere around 8. Then in the morning, I woke up around 6. So I, like, started getting, like, stomach cramps. And I felt like my stomach was about to run. I ran to the bathroom. Literally, my, I had diarrhea. I was vomiting all at the same time. It was just a huge mess. And yeah that was the most traumatizing thing i've ever experienced my temperature was literally so high uh it it would go like really high and then i'd be like cold cold like literally when i touch my skin you think i'm dead or something my like my my body would go like totally cold and then totally hot literally it was just a mess so I couldn't, I even struggled at some point to even go to the bath, to the bathroom. Like I was really weak, spent most of the day in bed. Um, so from 6 to like 12, I was just going through a whole lot of stuff. So 6 a.m. in the morning to 12. And then around 12, I remember video calling my mom. Imagine guys, she's literally, she literally was in the lounge. I video call her like my room is near the lounge but i couldn't even walk there i video call her i was like sweetie can you just take me to the doctor i am not feeling well if you don't take me to the doctor now i'm definitely getting admitted in the hospital uh into hospital and then i tried to like you know go pumul again go bazing because i was like i don't even have strength to get into the shower i pumula out drove to the doctor got there i was weak i remember like waiting more and now i feel like i'm gonna faint in front of everyone and then like i didn't even get to consult the doctor um he can go the vital signs room and then they told they asked me if, if it's okay if i'm getting a drip i'm like hey please Please, anything at this point will help. That'll help. Please help me. And then when getting at the drip, um, yeah, and then I cannot go to the doctor. But already after the drip, I felt a lot better. But now I, the stomach cramps were like so bad because I didn't eat. Imagine having diarrhea and vomiting. I ate the previous day, 8 p.m. in the evening. Now it's like 12, 8. Well, it was even around 1 at that time. 1 p.m. the following day like it makes sense um i couldn't even drink water when i drink water everything just came back you know 
so yeah it's been a really tough time i spend a lot of time in my bed i don't even want to sit no couch on your couch i don't want I, I, like i don't know my body just requires me to rest when i eat i get cramps it's just really bad but what can we say um yeah so i'm not the only one affected my my younger sister's affected my two cousins are affected because all four of us ate these pies um yeah so unfortunately i was the first target i ate it first so everyone um basically saw symptoms from me i started then my cousin started then my sister followed and then my other cousin so it's like literally that bad for us guys but we healing um i'm the only one at this point that like really um suffered the most um to a point where i had to like get a drip but my my sister luckily i gave her some of my meds to drink so she she got to like deal with or stop you know the vomiting and the diarrhea early unlike me and yeah unlike me and oh my other cousin also went to the, the doctor and he shared his meds with my with his brother so yeah we, we we're recovering guys but i think i took the the biggest hit um yeah my sister's she's she's still not great but she's a lot better than i am yeah so yeah, that's been what's going on. Um, yeah, that's it in terms of the life update. Is there anything else I need to tell you? No, besides the fact that, oh yeah, I went to Dragon City. And I got a couple of items I want to show you. So, I bought the spray, guys. So my sister took my 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 spray. She took it, my glue for my wigs. She felt I don't need it. She needs it more than I do imagine. So I got a bigger one for myself. And then I got these from this chem to bleach the knots on my wigs. So I'm going to try this for the first time, guys. Wish me luck. Remember I told you I'm... Um, embarking on a wig journey i also bought a new wig you guys will probably see it maybe in the next vlog um yeah and then i got like um a bonnet a black one and then i went to this cam remember i told you guys about that um ebony hot comb i bought it it's three I think 320 at this camp, guys. Um, I would advise you to rather buy this than to get like a hot comb from like a China mall or a, a Dragon City. I think I actually owe you guys a part two of the things to consider before you have a baby segment. Yes, I've got more things that I'd love to notify people to just like speak about um relating to that topic and that video is actually doing so well and i can see the subscriber count is actually increasing thank you guys for watching my videos thank you for subscribing um i really do appreciate and yeah i think that's it definitely for this vlog i'll see you guys in the next one i love you guys